Good morning, my dear. How did you sleep? Not that well. <laughs> How come? Mouse? Yeah, we had the first mouse in our RV, in our home. For two nights in a row. Yeah. Kept me awake. But? The good news. I think we found the asshole. There it is. Now it's time to get him out and clean up. Um, that's my job, I guess. Morning. Now I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> See you later. We found one mouse this morning, but we put another trap underneath the drawers and we found another mouse, so we caught two mouse, mice this morning. So now we're going to take out the pantry to see what we could, if there's something else behind it. And check the level for the older fluid. Yes, and to get that pantry out you first have to unscrew this, this blockage here. So that hook is out and now it will be a struggle to get... Out is easy, but getting back in. There's a small lip here and one here and I have to... You have to go up, I have to go down. Yeah. So let's do that and pull. Yep. That's the alder reservoir. So I'm going to top up the alder a little bit. It, it, it's at the minimum now, but it should be around about five six mil above it so we still have a little bit left so we can top it up and i think that should be fine that's what i read in the manual so just a little bit above yep and when it warms up it goes higher of course like the cooling we love each other very much <laughs> everything we're gonna say in the next couple of minutes we don't mean it yep <laughs> so if you hear swearing it's it's my wife <laughs> all right Let's see if we can get it in And we're still married! Yeah, so it's in, but now he has to put back oh yeah. bracket. That, uh, that bracket Little which bracket. needs yep. to be in there. So we survived two weeks of isolation. isolation. It's the first time that we're walking now because we were really careful. We really stayed close to our van. So we're gonna start today with a small hike. Well, hike. <laughs> Just uh, two, two kilometers walk. And then we're gonna go for breakfast at Tons in the Dancing Moose Cafe. I'm so looking forward to my pannenkoek. Coffee. And coffee. Yes. They're complaining that they didn't have enough rain here in Cape Breton, well everywhere in Nova Scotia. I'm gonna check if I still have the footage from this small stream this winter. There's no water left, nothing. It's raining, so Martin doesn't want to make coffee, he just gets it at the takeout. So much easier than making it yourself. And then you have those friends who need a little bit of a bigger van than we have. last night we were the only ones couldn't get any closer to the terminal and our boat just arrived so now it's a matter of waiting until we can check in and then we have a I think it's a seven hour boat ride in front of us
so she did the pre-screening and now we have to go to lane 11. And wait for a little while. And wait for a while, yep. No, it's 8.30 and we our ferry leaves at 11.40 or something. And we'll arrive in Newfoundland at around 7ish. Seven hour on the boat, yucky. Looking forward to it, <laughs> not really. But looking forward to Newfoundland. Oh yeah. Turned off. It is a little bit bigger than the boat to PEI. Yeah. So because of the COVID, we're not allowed to go anywhere. We have to stay in this area where we do get appointed seats. And it's like being in an airplane. It's not bad. We even have Wi-Fi. There's televisions here. We're slowly making our way over here. And over there we stayed last night. Over there. left the ferry and we were parked uh, with the commercial trucks so that means that we're out first and now they have a zigzag all over the parking lot because we have to go through a screening again So we have to stand in line again. <laughs> 